The 1972 Chevy Blazer coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another Monster Hobbies unboxing video. My name is Trevor Slescu, owner of Monster Hobbies, and today we're going to be looking at the AMT Ertl Model King Chevy Blazer. Now, this kit is on loan to us from my good friend James, and it's a pretty cool kit, and it also marks the first of our 1972 video series of four unboxings. So without further delay, let's go down to our workbench and see what's in the box. Once again, we return to our back roads of this great country where we get to check out our 1972 Chevy Blazer by AMT Ertl, released under the Model King moniker. We have a picture of this camper in the back. It says on the box that camper was sold separately, also part of the Model King lineup. So if we turn it up on the side, we've got like a real person integrated into a model kit. Complete diorama blazer and camper built by Ken Hamilton. Photos by Ken Hamilton. Here's an idea of sort of what you could make given the right amount of stuff. Some pretty cool looking pictures of all this out in the rugged country. There's the stock version of the blazer as you can see pretty nice. Model built by Steve Goldman. Photos by Doug White. Pretty cool stuff on this box. And then on this end, you get to see the uh, stock blazer driving off down along the sea coast here. So let's see what's inside here. Of course, we're confronted right away by our decal sheet. I'm just gonna leave the cover on the top. That'll be the uh, thing that'll keep you going till the end of the video. <laughs> Here's our blazer instructions, looking very much like they're out of the 70s, which I do believe these would be a copy of take a look at those following this unboxing here the simple unboxing part here's our chrome tree then we've got some blazer components in here as well as our blazer body with no roof on it a lot of tires in this bag actually looks like enough to do both an off-road and a regular street version and we have our final white components here engine block interior all that great stuff here we have our 1972 Chevy Blazer instruction sheets. And does say important, read these points before you begin. There's only six, so that's not too many points. Opening this up here, you can see it's not too much on the instruction sheet. Here we have our engine assembly plans. And what we can see here is the engine block being two pieces. There is this big massive four-wheel drive transmission sitting in here. The transfer case and the transfer case front. There's the exhaust manifold and this does look like the 327 Chevy, sort of like the Corvette style manifolds of the 60s. There we've got our cylinder head covers, our valve covers, distributor at the back, the manifold, the carburetor, the air cleaner, upper radiator hose, front cover, for timing chain, oil pan is separate, oil filter is up. We got the top, the water pump up here, our <laughs> Delcrotron. <laughs> Never heard an alternator called a Delcrotron before. There's our fan belt assembly and our fan. Then we got a two gear selector here going off the side of the transmission and our starter motor off the side. Now if you want to give your blazer a little extra oomph into it, <laughs> here we have this chrome intake manifold with eight velocity stacks that pop in. Then our upper radiator hose, distributor, valve covers, cylinder head, engine block left and right, oil filter, oil pan, front cover, water pump, the Delcotron. Our pulleys, our fan. We have our gear selector glues on here. Interesting they don't show the starter on there like in the other thing above. And then we've got our transfer case and transfer case front cover. Now we can take a look at two different panels here as we check out our wheels and our chassis. So this dividing line shows the stock side on this side and the off the road on this side. Anyway, there's our four wheel inners. We get five stock tires, so I assume one is going to be a spare. We've got two front wheels. It looks like a full cap on here. And then the two rear wheels which the hubcap seems to be sunken in at the back. So that might have been special for the four-wheel drive mounts. 
And then our off the road, we have our four inner wheels. We have these Gates Commando tires. You can put on your reversed wheels here in the front and then some for the back. Now our chassis, we've got our frame and then it shows our muffler and tailpipe, exhaust crossover pipes. All this would be hooking up into your engine. Oh yeah, there's front drive shafts here going off from our transfer case and then exhaust headers as well. It says locate assembled engine here. Here we are with our chassis in illustration four, which is a little easier to follow than the illustration three. So this is universal to both. So we have our front springs going on here and then two piece differential with the spindles for steering and a tie rod up front. Now, unfortunately these don't actually steer, but it does give the correct look. There's our rear drive shaft going to the two piece rear differential with the springs there says the notches will go up underneath. Now carrying on the chassis into the final construction bits, we have our steering box and our steering arm gluing together. Two sets of shock absorbers left and right, or the off-the-road shock absorbers, which appear to be dual shocks in there. And then we've got our two rear shocks in the back. There's optional off-road ones and custom ones. So the off-road ones are more heavy duty. They get collared all the way down to the bottom, whereas the stock ones are only half collared. Center spring shocks for off-road. Four shock absorbers in the back here. Four on the front, side by side. So real heavy duty stuff. Then we got our metal axles going through the plastic differentials and our assembled wheels as well. Here's our interior for our fun little Chevy Blazer. So we have our dashboard, our tachometer, our steering wheel, transfer case shift lever, a heater going on the inside. That's pretty neat. We've got a center console here. Looks like it goes toward the back. There's our bucket seats with the benches in the back. Here we have our rear seat, which has a separate armrest, three pieces. And then off-road fuel tank, auxiliary fuel tanks. Two of them, and then we have our spare tire mount. It's a stock only, so you don't get the big monster Gates Commando tires sitting in the back here. Now, here we have our body going together. We've got our chassis dropping down. There's a uh, body reinforcements here, one per side, just strengthen up the uh, entire blazer. Four speed shift going in. Up underneath. Anyway, there's our body, our windshield to go in, our tailgate in two pieces. Here's for the optional top here. These side windows, your rear window, and that's the glass. This is the frame of the rear window. And then you've got your hinges there as well. And next we have our final assembly. So this is where we get our gas cap going on, our tail lights, our backup lights, our rear bumper, and then you can pop the roof on here. You can either glue it on or leave it so you could have it removable. There's our rear view mirrors, our spotlights, driving lights, our hood, a heater motor, battery, the front grille and bumper. And we've got a tow bar here as well and then some side trim. And that completes our look at our 72 Chevy Blazer instruction sheets. Here we have our Chevy Blazer body. In order to keep the strength up, the entire engine bay is molded as one piece. I know some of you might have liked to have this differently, but actually this all adds into the bracing in here for support, so this thing comes out of the mold nice and straight. Anyway, looking at the side profile of this, you can see it is actually quite a nice model. You've got this nice molding comes around here, all your marker lights are in place and your door handles. You can see the nice detailing on that front. radiator support. Got windshield wipers and a little vent. Overall, I think this is quite nice. As we were pulling the parts out of the box earlier in this video, you got to see that there were two bags of parts trees. So this is everything that's in the first bag. Here's our engine and all the rest. You got your, look at that big four wheel drive transfer or transmission going on. There's our valve covers, distributor, cylinder heads, there's our fan, the exhaust manifolds, oil filter I believe, starter, and our pulleys, our intake manifold, the air cleaner, there's our oil pan, 
radiator hose, that's a transfer case. There's the selector for four-wheel drive, our water pump battery, and our exhaust manifolds. Okay, so there's our interior. It's one solid tub, as you can see. Door panels are all molded in. There's no pedals molded in the floorboards, which is interesting. It looks like there's wood grain molded in on the dashboard panels, which is very 70s. There's our braces for the body. I do believe these are shock absorbers. There's our center console for in the interior. Actually, our rear wheels have the hole in them, which is accurate. There's our frame. I mean, look at that nice detail on there. Okay, we got a wheel back here. And then all this nice detail on the springs and the differentials. You can see this one's offset. That would be for the front. Uh, the steering linkages and all the rest. There's our off-road shock absorbers. They have the... Well, they all have the little springy things on them. I guess that's a heavy duty. Heavy duty. That's basically the skinny. Nice leaf springs. Got all the leaves in there. Now here's the lowdown on our second parts tree bag. See that nice detail on there. Pretty interesting upholstery pattern in here. You could uh, really take a look at your old sales brochures and come up with some pretty exciting high Baroque style upholstery pattern for there. You can really see that rectangle through the hood. So if you paint this, use primer and then uh, paint your color over top. Should make it disappear. You can see the nice fireproof matting underneath. Some nice uh, vinyl on here, or texture anyway. Whatever it would be. Underneath, nice ribs inside. Little hat, little things here for the latch on that tailgate. Okay, looking at the tailgate, you can see there's some little slots in here. That would be for lining it up. There's a little air cleaner with the snorkel on it. And not sure what those other little pieces are. Probably bits for the frame and whatnot. It looks like we got a bottle jack going on with a little hook here. Oh, that would be a winch for uh, the off-road. This is a off-road pan to protect your front differential. That's why it's offset there. Wheel backs and then our seat backs. Got that nice texture so you can fold this down. The rear seat. And then there's our tailgate. Chevrolet stamped in the back, which is nice. Next up we have our Chrome, my favorite parts tree. James will see it when he builds this, but it's all kind of yellowy gold in here. And I don't think that's intentional. I think that's an accident in the Chrome processing. Overall, though, the detail on this is really nice. I mean, you could strip it down. You could paint this with L-clad, uh, some Chrome paint. But look at these guys. These are hard hats. <laughs> Chrome plated hard hats. Took me a while to figure it out. Now I have a figure here. This is a 3D printed one from my friend Wit. You could see that if you cut off his hat, you could fit this right on his head in this little funny hard hats. So anyway, that's kind of silly, but I guess it was a blazer edition here where they're off road or, you know, a repair crew. You'd want to paint this flat black in here, so when you turn your model upside down, you don't see it. There's our intake manifold. The velocity stacks are pretty tall, as you can see. So they would pop up through that hood opening, definitely for sure. Next up, we have our clear components. And here's our front windshield, our headlights, and little parking lights, and some of the lights for our various off-road lanterns and whatnot. There we've got our side window glass as well as our little red tail lights. Nice little rectangle pattern. Actually got little feet that stick out. So those would go into those fenders. And here's our 10 tires that come with this kit. Up top we have Goodyear Tracker ATs, which are pretty solid looking tires. And down below we have Firestone All-Terrain TCs. In the instructions it called these things Gates Commando Tires, but maybe that was something that came with the original kit. Anyway, looking at these Goodyear Tracker ATs, they're a nice solid tire all the way through. Good tread pattern on them. Little, like, wavy lines if 
Let's fix it up okay. There's our Firestone all-terrains as well. And these ones are hollow tires, if you can see inside. These ones are also nice. They got the good chunky terrain pattern on them. Sort of that old pie plate 60s era on the side, but not as pronounced as the old off-road tires used to be. Last but not least, we have our decal sheet. And here's the unveiling. Get ready for some pretty awesome looking stuff. There it is. Look at that orange, bright orange, medium orange, and red along the bottom. Black striping in here. All kinds of crazy stuff going on. And then here we have Michigan license plates that say Blazer. And that completes our look at our 1972 Chevy Blazer from AMT Ertl Model King under the old RC2 banner. Another big thank you to James for letting us take a look at this. And if you've built this model kit in the past, we want to see your pictures over on our Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing video where I got to show you inside the 1972 Chevy Blazer by AMT Ertl Model King, released in 2006. And until next time, everyone, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you're the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, visit our Patreon account, like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.